Okay, uh, where's... Okay, there it is. Shop for Shark Claw. Get some more cash back. I'm holding onto these because I need them for a quest later. I just killed Helion again. Since he came back on the 1st, it'll be back on the 15th. Chimera will be back on the 10th, and Scalia will be back on the 9th. So, you know, good stuff. Just keep track of that, and I can keep my money up. Especially, oh, right, yeah. Because I went and got all the gathering. Uh, from picking uh, sell and selling strawberries, I can now buy emeritas. They're stupidly expensive. But at least I won't be stingy enough to not use them if I feel the need to. I'll probably still hold back a little bit on them for the most part. But it's simply because I can just have, uh, it's not that terribly difficult to use transfer right now. But, if I feel the need to, I definitely will use them. Instead of just holding onto them and never using it. I also got that thing. Well, not the... Not, not, oh, that one. TP50. That's a tough one. Because that's 50 TP versus 10 HP. I mean, I think the TP might actually be better, but, you know. Because then she could spam more skills, because... Hmm. Thinking, thinking about it, maybe I should give that to her, actually. I'll hold on to the other one for now. Well, it's not like it's that expensive. It's, it, it was that one. Because 50 TP is 50 TP. And that's the good shit. Uh, I guess one there's another... Oh, right. I think I unlocked another sword. Okay, that was the one he had. Oh, I think it was that one. I know I unlocked another one when I was running around. Okay. Well, there's that. Okay, so we can move on to the fourth stratum, but before doing that, um, when looking around, I noticed another spot in the third strat- um, another spot in the third stratum that I missed. I can only get there during the day, because uh, it involves those FOEs that like to move around. It's one of those class-specific stuff, and it involves Jubei. So I kind of want to see what's in there, because it's probably a katana or something. It's, uh, yeah, it's right up there. So it doesn't take that long to get over to there. I can probably avoid any random encounters along the way. I'm really hoping the accuracy penalty on that gun is not going to screw me over too much. If not, I'll just have to switch back to the next weakest gun or something. Alright. Five trip wires. All but almost out of the trap. Simple snare, but difficult to see through as you give up. Your run and steps in. Does basically exactly the same as he's done before. Freaking blink. I can sheath. If your run has been destroyed, you may proceed. Alright, let's see what's inside. Oh. Okay. Okay, thankfully. You can at least tell three, maybe four. Four, okay. Okay, this area is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Huh. like that. Oh, right, she does ice damage now, because of her whip. Let's see how well this goes.
Oh, so there's another spot right here. Or maybe not there. Maybe, maybe. Hmm? Whatever. Oh, cheap. That, okay, that's probably Katana. That figures. Oh, one strength higher, but it doesn't have the strength, so. That would have been useful a while ago. Okay, so it's that spot right here. Ah, no! I'm gonna screw it. I'll just go like, there we go. Much better. Yeah, it just looks like it was just that and nothing else. Yep, okay. Okay, so that means that there's another hidden path that I completely and utterly missed. Yep. Unless it turns out it was like right here. Yeah, blindsided. Okay, well, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Oh, white chips. I actually do need those. For another quest. Aha! There's a peculiar presence nearby. Your search level is... The search reveals a peculiar sight. A row of black creatures lined up here. The group carries a flat pedestal. You freeze thinking that they may be a new type of monster, but they don't seem hostile. You stand puzzled before the black creatures when your Hexer pushes you aside to step forth. The Hexer mutters a few words and the black creatures respond in sudden excitement. Your Hexer explains that they're called Kododama, and they can be ordered about with curses. With them at your command, you can use the pedestal they carry to climb over the wall. Well, alright then. Once again, revealing that she can talk. How shocking. Either that or she just muttered words and that's what it sounded like to my character's head, in my head, character's heads. Because I believe her words are not uh, fit for the consumption of humans. My mind blanked. <laughs> this snow quill oh that's a equipment right oh terror resist I don't think I've seen anything that does terror yet hmm oh we're done here that's all I wanted to check on so let's just run back do, do I have any okay I have two amaritas right now We'll just focus on back. I'll just buy a new one. Rest at the end. And then move forward to the next stratum. So the junk that I picked up without accidentally selling the ones I want. I'll just sell the Gara Rod for right now so it doesn't take up inventory space. Oh wait, no, I need the white chips too. I'll make sure to get those. I need two white chips, two of that, and uh, two of something else. Uh, I don't remember what it was. I think it was something on the 15th floor, though. 
That's something I feel like getting right now. I've been mostly doing the quests off recording due to the fact of an awful lot of them require you to be in very specific spots on the map. Basically a tile search. And that makes them kind of a pain in the ass to do. Especially when I have no idea where they are and I don't really like the idea of holding a guide on me at any given time. Oh right, yeah, that's somewhat, that was on that pre floor I was just on somewhere. This is the one I'm talking about. If I, if I load it up from here, it would tell me what it needs. Uh, blue course, right, uh, from the uh, slimes, right. Sleep. That time always never seems to be very nice to me. This also means that gathering points are now all reset. Also should be summoner two. Yep. Okay. Okay, pedal bridge. Something that I, I failed to notice until like I thought about it after I stopped playing was that each of these stratums definitely seem to re represent a different season. First stratum is summer. Second is uh, fall. Third is winter. This is obviously spring. All right, let's explore around in here. Also, apparently my characters might be like five levels lower than what they should be, possibly. What level are they right now? Because I saw, because uh, when I saw something, oh, no, 35. No, that, that's about right actually. I think, yeah, I, th I think that's actually about right. 35 or 36 is seems to be what they should be around this point. Starting off strong, aren't we? Please don't grab that. Let's see, one step forward, so that would be like that. Okay. Damn it, I'm trying to keep track of them. Penguins! Oh, music change, too. Let's just melee attack them for right now and see what happens. Okay. Raicho. I have no idea what their patterns are. Shelter, okay. I think oh, are they going walking back and forth multiple? Okay. Okay. I'm trying to comprehend what their patterns are, but I can't. No idea how their patterns even work. Uh huh. That time it moved forward. Blindsided, of course. Thank you. 
I could have gotten strawberries from these guys too. Let's go and go back and forward. Okay, so forward to s fuck or not? Oh, I hate these things. Their their pattern is messing with me so much, and I have no idea how I'm supposed to get past them. Do another one. Well, I was gonna try to go down the middle path this time. Fuck you. Okay, the middle path. Except for the times that they randomly turn around, the middle path seems to be the safe, the, the proper safe path. Fuck off! Moves forward to the time it was those things so much. That, that, that's such a weird movement pattern. As you climb the stairs into the new stratum, the sight of cherry blossoms greets you. As you stand in awe at the gently falling petals, a voice rings from the sky. What sort of austerity has the almighty Nud decreed? I bumped into one of those guys before, actually, during a quest. I just had to give him a stone. I got an amory for it. Once again, it was a tile hunt in, like, one of, like, four tiles in different parts of, the str of different stratums. I managed to get lucky and got him on my first try. <laughs> But yeah, that quest sounded like a massive pain in the ass. Or he could have just sold it for a, and got a nectar instead of an Amrita. If, it, if that was too much of a pain in the ass. Anyways. You turn toward the voice. A winged demi-human is gazing down upon the party. Father Ish and Mo Mother Isha bless the earthbound people with the gift of new life. With this, the demi-human spreads his wings and rises into the air. Who and what could the winged organism have been? The whole party feels tense as you investigate further into the labyrinth. what that is but I don't want to step in it unless I get no choice so we'll mark those with yellow again because those are either please don't attack different tar god damn it guys can't rely on auto attack very well because they just sometimes randomly go like, okay, we're done attacking this one, let's go after that one instead. It can really hurt, guys. Okay. Once again, as I was saying, either this is like some kind of status ailment floor thing, or... Which doesn't make that much sense, considering how status ailments usually don't, unless it's stone, they don't usually last the entire fight. Okay, they always blindside the party. Fan fucking tastic.
Okay, I gave Olga a double shot as a case of whenever she does melee attacks. Oh, okay, good, good, good. I'm only putting one point into that, though. It doesn't go up enough to make it actually worthwhile. The investigation of the lab, you find a pink fruit growing on a branch. You can try picking up vi the vividly colored fruit and eat it, or ignore it and press onward. Let's eat it. After the pitch argument on who should eat the fruit, Olga settles the issue on... on... Yeah, whatever. However, in contrast to its luscious color, the fruit's smell and taste is repulsive! Ow! I thought it was gonna be like a peach! I guess that's the trap. Again, I don't trust these things, and I don't want to step in them unless I'm forced to. Oh no. that specifically, didn't it? Let's go on this one first, then. Search the area for traces of something buried beneath the tree before you. You vaguely recall a story about something being buried under cherry blossom trees. Yeah, uh, corpses, usually. Let's dig. As you prepare to dig under the tree, you sense a malicious presence and take up arms. You look around and see countless scorpions streaming from the brush that surround you. There's no escape from the storm. You must stand and fight scorpions. Kilpians. Ah. Poison them. Well, that didn't work so well. You defeat the wave of scorpions, but just as you catch your breath, you freeze in horror. Another wave of scorpions as fierce as the last! Cursing your ill-advised curiosity, you have no choice but to engage in battle again. Crap. Kianzen! Torpor, actually! Maybe that would have worked better. Oh well. Okay, Torpor. There we go. We'll stick with that. You defeat the wave scorpions, but just to catch your friends, you <laughs> No! And more scorpions! Don't worry, it won't attack on the turn that it went to sleep. If they're asleep, they can't select any action, so... Okay. Torpor is a very good curse. After a seemingly endless battle, there's there are finally no more scorpions in sight. If you stay here, however, another wave may ambush you again. You abandon whatever is buried in the tree's roots in favor of fleeing the area. Oh, cool, I got two, two of the drops. I didn't pay attention. Okay, anyways, characters that leveled up. Okay, more to swords. Four more levels into that. Uh, you can finally get War Might maxed out, so that's good. 
Okay, so I might put, start putting more points in the curse cut now. And then finally uh, start going for south two again. His heels are perfectly fine at the moment, so no, nothing to worry about that. Okay, Olga, um, hmm. I gotta keep putting more po stuff into points right now. But I'm going to learn... Where is it? Snipe, here we go. I only need it at level one. This is a just in case she has a bad tendency of missing every attack kind of problem. Deck up. Okay, scavenge. Now we can start getting more items. This will effectively make getting the, the conditional drops pretty much a non issue. the bee so they go down first. I should probably actually check my notes for some of the stuff around here. Okay. So I got the stuff for this labyrinth. I don't think any of the stuff I'm fighting uh nope none of these are conditional drop enemies so nothing to worry about in terms of that. I was expecting the torpor so much earlier. I mean, it's not that difficult to get there, to be honest. It's just a case of um, knowing the pattern of the damn turtle so that um, my other party can get over there. It's just annoying. Question, I don't want to be in that room. Thank you. 
Turtles. You know what, Mr. Turtle? I will exam examine the rest of this spot so I can keep track. Well, uh, uh, let's go there. Yeah, we'll do that. There, now I can keep track of where you are whenever you go through your silly little dance. Ah! <laughs> oh, that spooked me. Red FOEs are a little, uh, you know. Oh, well, I don't need to mark the turtle if I already know where it is. Okay. This way. Curse you, turtle. Well, whatever. Could be something down here. shortcut like right there and I somehow managed to fail to note to do yep <laughs> of course I really should be checking those shouldn't I okay cool first things first let's save because I don't trust the bees One fell asleep. There we go. Mostly because I can sell stuff and potentially get more gear. 
Yay. Alright, what do we got? Heavenly pin. Execu executor. Strawberries. Toxic barb. Helta. Gold crest. Gold wand. Gold shirt. A needle. New katana. A new gun. Boots. No, I need those white chips. Okay. That looks to be what we've gotten so far. What do we got? 44 armor. For our magic clat for these two. Uh she loses they lose TP. Damn. Flame leaf. Uh 44 versus how much? Ooh, that's a mm. Man, there's no other TP armors. Except aside from that, obviously, but I might hold off until plum mail or whatever. That sounds like nothing that these characters can equip anyways. Damn. That hurts. Um, that helps. I mean, she's actually using boots, so that helps make her faster. She's not using boots, so who cares? He's using boots, though. Sticky web. Plum mail. Now we can see. Uh, okay, cool. That's for Pendomo. At least I haven't used yet. I found. I haven't found honestly, I haven't found any spots for him yet. Oh, right. I need to restock on one of my nectars. Maybe get two while I'm at it. Okay, there they are. There we go. Weapons. Okay. Weaker. I haven't had, despite the fact this thing has accuracy down, I haven't seen it miss very much yet. So, so far it's been nice. And then watch as it misses every single time after this point. Um, 15 TP. She does not need the attack, so, no. It's better. I mean, that also means that he'll get more TP and stuff off of it, so it's worth it. Ninety-three versus seventy something, wasn't it? Eighty-six. And the two strength. Well, all right then. Fantastic. Okay. Let's rest up too while we're at it. safe. So far the first floor hasn't been that bad. Just a bit annoying with the uh, turtles doing their silly dance thing.
Yeah, no. If you're gonna be like that game, I'm I'm not going to. Okay, moving on. So I'll be relying on Torpor to get through these places, and then Pharaohs can just restore her TP. lies here in the path, virtually begging to be kicked. Yes. The rock ricochets off a tree and crumbs off another and flies directly at your forehead. Pharaoh's lost it. <laughs> uh. just to be on the safe side. More crack, trees... Okay. Good thing I checked. This room seemed to be a bit weird. Brain bugs. Okay. If that was not in a preemptive attack, I definitely would not have done that. Obviously. Really. I'm I'm serious this time. What? Oh no. Oh, I hate this thing already. It doesn't have very much health. But it looks like it's going to get a preemptive attack every time it sees me. That makes it a lot worse. Great, I hate I hate the guaranteed preemptive attack fights. Oh, they're such a pain in the ass. I'm so glad the, the rest of the games in the series don't do that. This game just likes to be being a dick more so than the first game does. I honestly have no idea what the post-game dungeon in this game does. Eh? Floor down? Okay. Where's that up? Okay, that's up. Interesting. I've barely done anything so far. That's rather suspicious. It's gonna have me going back and forth between the floors. Ah, shit. 
Please, guys, don't miss. Come on. How did you? I'm not done exploring this floor, so I'm a bit suspicious about going up there yet already. So let's just keep going for now. Oh, God damn it. Mm, nope. Shit. Okay, it looks like it only does that attack on the first turn. That's manageable. Man, I thought this turn was going to be easy until that shit popped up. Okay, so I really hate those weasels. Wind snap. Oh, wind snap. Okay, that is actually one of my conditional drops. I had to kill it with a volt element. Okay, not a guaranteed one yet on this one. How oh, fantastic. Wait, 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 wait. You attack that, you attack that one. Full shot. Okay, got the wind blade. I don't know if I need more than one of those for anything. Point is, I got it. Dead ends, huh? All right then. Only one choice. Aside from that spot over there, but I'm guessing that that's just to a treasure chest or dead. Okay, it, it can do that attack more than once. Fuck. And here I thought I had it figured out that it only does it on the first turn. Okay, he needs TP if I want to continue further. got our first shortcut, it seems. Unless it's gonna turn out to be behind a wall just for the game just to laugh at me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past it. No, no, it looks like I can get, easily get over there. Okay. 
Okay, go. Just make it sure. Sides for now. Bees. I'm wary of these things because I remember the previous one summoning FOEs. So I'm still a little bit wary of those types of things. Such as since there was actually something on the. The snowman can also, uh, if they cast that summon skill a second time. Uh, they'll summon, um, something nasty. They'll summon an FOE. The red FOE, specifically. The sleeping ones from the third stratum. Which is a good thing that that never happened to me. Because <laughs> that's a, that's a, that actually sounds very scary. Oh, hi. Oh, right, yeah, they move uh, twice. Gotcha. So they only move... Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm not taking a disadvantage like that when the, with my with them dodging all my attacks and stuff. Especially when there's an FOE like right there, you know. All right, so I think I have to rethink of where that is. I think it's probably going by my map. It's probably like that. going towards me, okay. <laughs> so many directions to go in this place.
some reason I thought I saw something pop up on my screen. It's me being crazy. Big Moth. Feather. Oh, no. Okay. Big Moth, there's another one of those ones. Uh, d d don't kill of cuts. Oh. That, that makes me sad. Okay. And it drops... Dark Lymph. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted. I had to not kill it with my melee attacks, basically. seen you before. That's not one of my things, is it? Nope. Oh no! Oh no! I, I just looked at my uh, list for um, conditionals and I noticed that there's a monster on this floor that I don't want to fight. Well, maybe not on this floor, but a monster I straight up do not want to fight whatsoever. A super scary one, too. Okay. We're gonna have to corrupt. Okay. Well, that didn't work out as well as I was hoping. all he can do. Alright, we're gonna have to rely on Murray to get him next time. Okay, so we got Snipe. I don't really need much. So we can just start going back to TP again. And then HP. Before you hangs a branch with a fra fragrant blossom on it, it'd be a simple matter to snap the branch and take it. Let's do it. Bloom wood. You easily take the branch from the flower, but, you know, but you know, there are also more branches you could reach. Sure. Easily take the branch, or there are more. No. Experience has proven carelessness can be fatal inside the labyrinth. You remain content to admire the flower without taking it, then move on onward. Good. Good. <laughs> I have a feeling that something bad would have happened if I took it more than twice. Maybe not, I don't know. I mean, I was already risking it by taking it twice. Excuse me? Oh, there's pitfall traps here, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good to know.
game. Why would you do this to me? Is it because you hate me? Don't answer that. I know that. I know that's the answer. path, maybe? That's all I could possibly think of. Let's look around and see what... Oh, whoops, one more. Look around a teensy bit more and see what else is in this room, if anything of interest. Okay, that's probably like that. once every two steps it looks like one way trip right yep okay okay invisible foe gotcha fantastic man there's a lot of little spots I didn't mark like that okay cool 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 the curse cut. Now it's at five. I'm already right next to the exit, so why not? Okay. See you. Things, bloom wood. I didn't unlock anything. Wind blade. Which unlocks something. Dark lymph. Gale whip. Wind claw. Wind arm. Color axe. Color vest. Hmm. I need. Evil Mist. Oh, right, Narcissus, right. That's a rare uh, take from Stratum 3. I don't necessarily care about that, but okay. Right, uh, I wanted more Medica 2s, that's right. And I probably just went right. There they are. Four should be fine. Anything to unlock in this? Nope. Color vest. More armor. Okay. Uh, what was the thing he just equipped? One mail? Okay, it's just one defense. I'm not going to spend, like, uh, yeah, that, uh, almost another thousand, thousand extra just for that. I'm good. Oh. Wind arm, vitality, defense. Okay. So that's, oh, that's on everybody. Okay. 
So they can equip that too, but they'd still lose some TP. Which is like the thing I like keeping on them. They don't get attacked very often to begin with. That's useless, that's useless. Bolt gun, you say. It's useless, it's weaker, but it does have lightning damage on it. Uh, how's this? Strength. It has strength on it? Oh, wait, no, no. The Zamiel gun gives strength. Never mind. She can't even equip that. Uh, that's. Ooh. Well, I'd lose a shit ton of TP, but I'd gain 10 more HP. And attack. Actually, that. Actually, I don't really care too much about that. I don't really need to worry about the HP stuff unless I'm in a boss fight, anyways. TP's better for running around the dungeon. Uh, color vest. Gee. Oh, right, yeah, I already checked that. Never mind. So, nothing of interest, I guess. And we'll just go sleep because recover all TP again. It's cheaper than buying an Amrita to do it. <laughs>